Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. In my last video, I went through an installation of Linux Mint Debian LMDE7, and then I updated it because I wanted to see if it, updating it through the normal process would include all the updates from Linux Mint Ubuntu 22.3, and it did. And the Linux Mint uh, menu has changed. They modernized it. It's actually called the Cinnamon menu. Anyways, they modernized it, and in the video, I said I didn't like it. And then, in the comments of the video, a lot of people were commenting that they didn't like the new menu as well. So today, I'm going to show you how to convert back to the classic Linux Mint or Cinnamon menu. So, let's get to it. So right now, I'm in my virtual machine of Linux Mint Debian LMDE7. The same virtual machine I used in my last video. So just in case you didn't watch the last video, or you're not aware of it, this is the new Linux Mint menu, or really we should call it the new Cinnamon menu. Now apparently, uh, they changed the menu because, well, according to some of the comments in my last video, apparently people were asking for this menu to be more modernized. I can't verify if that's true or not, but that's what people were commenting in my last video. And I also mentioned in my last video that I thought, and I'm just guessing, that they modernized it because, well, the Linux Mint team haven't modernized their desktop in a long time. The desktop has looked exactly the same for many years. I thought maybe it's time to modernize it. Anyways, that's besides the point. Personally, I don't care for this uh, menu. And like I already mentioned, uh, people were commenting in my last video that they, did, that they didn't like this new menu as well. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go back to the classic menu in the same way that we installed this beautiful weather app. And if you notice, it's only minus one now. <laughs> in my last video, it was minus 14. Anyways, that's besides the point. So what I'm going to do is right click on this bottom bar. And I'm going to click on applets and we're going to open applets and let's just move this a bit so my face is not blocking anything and let's just download click on download I want to make sure all my applets are up to date and they are okay so now what I'm going to do is uh, go into manage and I'm going to type in classic and it doesn't come up so what I'm going to do is go back I'm going to go to download and I'm going to type in classic here it is here classic menu I'm going to highlight it then I'm going to click this download arrow can I move this over a bit? So now I'm going to click on this download arrow. And you can see the blue line down there. It just downloaded it. Then I'm going to go to manage. I'm going to click it on. And I'm going to hit this plus sign. And now I'm going to close this menu. So now you see we have the classic menu here. Ah, I got it like that, eh? <laughs> and we still have the new menu here. So if you want, you can keep two menus. But you, if you like the, the older classic menu, you probably don't want to keep two menus. So what you could do is right click on this, click on remove menu. Are you sure you want to remove the menu? Yes, I do. <laughs> so you're going to click on yes. And it's gone. See that? So now if you want, you can keep this menu here, but you probably don't want to do that. So we're going to right click on the bar. We're going to click on panel edit mode. Let's click on that. And then we're going to click on this and we're going to move it. We're going to hold my uh, left mouse button down and then moving it to here. And now I'm going to right click on this bottom bar again and I'm going to toggle off panel edit mode. And there it is. And now we have the old classic menu. Now I'm going to reboot and see if it sticks. Okay, so let's just uh, click on that. Let's restart. Let's hit enter. And I encrypted this uh, installation. So let's put in my encryption password. And let's put in my user password. And here we've logged into the system. So let's click on the menu and see we still have the classic menu. Now, let's say down the road you change your mind. You go, you know what? I'm really sick of that old style menu. I want the new one back. Well, I'm going to show you how to get the new one back. <laughs> okay. So let's go in here. Let's right click the menu and let's remove classic menu. Okay. Let's remove it. Are you sure you want to remove the classic menu? Yes, I do. 
<laughs> Let's click on yes, and it's gone. Now I'm going to go to the bottom bar. I'm going to right click the bottom bar, and I'm going to click on troubleshoot. Let's click on troubleshoot, and we're going to click on restore all settings to default. I'm going to click that on. Are you sure you want to restore all settings to default? I'm going to click on yes, and it's restarting cinnamon. Now we have the new menu back. Now, the only thing is when we did that, it deleted my weather app. So I'm going to right click this on. I'm going to go back to applets. I'm going to click on weather. I'm going to click on the plus sign to put it back. And there we go. We're back to normal. We got the brand new modern menu. And this will work in Linux Mint Debian and Linux Mint Ubuntu. And it will also work if you're just using the Cinnamon desktop and Arch Linux or some other distribution. And that's it. In this video, I just wanted to take a few minutes to show you that you don't have to use the brand new Cinnamon desktop menu in Linux Mint or in any other distribution as well. That is easy to revert back to the old classic Cinnamon menu. And I even showed you that if for some reason you decide that you want the new menu, it's easy to revert back to the brand new Cinnamon desktop menu. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Lennox Mansion.